Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to the channel. This week... Say hello to my little friend! My little friend in this instance is the SO Dripman. This model is a magnetic racing model. They produce a whole range of laser cut MDF models to put together. This is probably one of the simplest. I got given four to put together for Christmas, so these will come up on the channel at some point. This one came from my sister-in-law and her partner, so thank you LA and Joe for this one. This isn't the only option if you want to build an oil drip man. Uh, Racetrack Scenics also do a kit, and Dave Kennedy on the Slot Car News YouTube channel did a build of that kit recently. That kit's also MDF, but it differs slightly from the magnetic racing one in that the scaffold structure behind is more complex, and the oil drip man himself is a flat sheet onto which you apply a decal that they provide. And if you fancy scratch building one, check out Boone's Slot Car Garage channel, he scratch built one as well. That video is also worth watching. I'll put links to all of these in the description on YouTube down below. The main difference with this kit is the SO man himself. The Racetrack Scenics kit has a decal that you apply to a cut out shape. The Magnetic Racing one is a whole series of small individual cut out pieces of MDF which you can paint separately first and put together and with one exception every single piece is a different colour so you, if you're a beginner with the painting you don't need to do any tricky masking or anything like that. It does make it a bit more fiddly putting it together, but we'll get to that as we go. Let's get on with it then. The kit comes in three sheets. Two sheets are thicker, and they're the structure, and a thinner one that's got the drip man himself on. It does say don't use a knife, but yeah. Some of these little bits can sometimes be a bit tricky to get out of the sheet they come on. So yeah, just nip it out. Although these ones all popped out quite nicely, apart from that one. Okay. There we are. So now we've got all the parts. You'll find a few of them have got little nibs on them where they've been detached from the sheet. So you can just file those flat. I tend to go around all of them and do that. outside now for a bit of painting. Whatever else you're doing, put grey car primer on everything that's MDF before you paint it with whatever final finish you're going to come up with. So while we're watching me spray primer on these bits of MDF, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a history lesson. The Drip Man was first introduced um, by Esso in Denmark as a character used to explain the reasons for oil shortages in the Second World War. In 1958, the US division of Esso decided, you know, 60 years after Michelin had introduced Bib Bendham as a marketing character, that they needed one as well. So they adopted Oil Drip Man and gave him the name Andy Slick. So on the real sign, obviously the framework is metal, so I'm going to use some wheel silver paint, which is what dodgy car dealers do to make terrible cars look better before they sell them, and just use that over the grey primer because it gives a lovely metallic -y finish. Another thing of note is Andy Slick also had a female companion. It was never made clear if she was his wife or his sister, but she was called Abby Slick, and they often appeared together on promotional signs and things. It would be great if somebody made the Andy and Abby Slick on a moped sign. Please? So now we've got all these bits painted, we need to stick them all together. I'm going to use two glues. It does say use super glue. I like to use super glue gel for some bits. It will become apparent why. And then for other bits, I like to use Mitafix, which is basically runny super glue, but it comes with an activator. You can get it from most you know, DIY stores and things. Uh, and it's a lot cheaper than buying normal runny super glue. trial fit a few of these bits then we'll glue them together and I'm using the mitre fix glue here because it's still runny, so I can just 
keep things squared up. Make sure everything's nice and straight. There's still a bit of movement in the glue at this point. Now it's square. If I spray the activator on it, All of that glue is now set solid. And it's even stuck itself to my sheet of paper. So there we are then, that's the main tower stuck together. Now, I think you're either supposed to stick Andy Slick to the tower or stick him to the framework and then stick the two prongs of the framework into your scenery. Now, I kind of need him to stand up, so I want to stick him to the tower, but I like the bit of framework. So I'm going completely off script with the instructions and I'm going to stick the framework to the tower. And now we get to building the man himself. All the parts come on one other separate thinner sheet of MDF. There's the outline. Some grey primer first, of course. There we are. Now this is a black background, so I'm going to use some gloss black car paint. And I did just splodge some white paint in his SO symbol on his chest. It doesn't need to be very neat edges because the edges are going to get covered up with something else anyway in a bit. So what I didn't film was me pressing all the small bits out of the sheet of MDF and spraying them all with primer and then the ones that needed it painting them either red or blue with just some acrylic paint and a paintbrush including these little bits which are the letters for the SO logo. And then the main body sticks on there. That's just painted with white car primer. With the eyes they advise you start from the smallest bits and work out. So the blue centres of the eyes. And the whites of the eyes. It's easy to line all of these things up if you do it this way. Because etched into the surface of the base layer is the outline of everything you need to stick on. So things like the eyes and the shoes and the lower hand, they give you um, several copies of the cutout. So what I did was I stuck them all together to give them a bit of depth. So the eyes stick out and the shoes stick out and the hand sticks out a bit further than everything else as does the letters for the SO because they gave I think two or three of those. Here's testament to how good this kit is. That round SO logo just fits straight in. So then it came time to make the decision as to what colour to paint his face. This is a contentious issue. In many things his face is bright yellow but I didn't really want a guy in a white shirt with a bright yellow face. And in a lot of other things his face is bright orange, and I definitely didn't want that. And then, as I was in the car paint shop, buying some white primer and some grey primer, it came to me. Filler primer is just the right shade of mustardy yellow. So all that remains now is to stick Andy to the scaffold.
and put him on the track. Hi Andy. One last thing I did do is I cut the top off that framework and you can hide a little mini camera behind there. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, there's a button specifically for that. Please subscribe and check out these guys.